The Gospel of Mark, chapter 3, verses 14 and 15, briefly tell us why Jesus called his apostles. Then he appointed twelve, that they might be with him, and that he might send them out to preach and to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out demons. So, why did Jesus appoint his apostles? Well, he wanted to train, equip, empower, and deploy them, or send them out to impact the world on his behalf. But please notice the first and most important purpose, that they might be with him. In other words, he gathered them around himself in order to do life together with them. Those that do life together grow together if, if the right relational growth environment is in place. Spiritual growth does not happen in just any kind of social context. A relational environment stimulates growth only if those relationships are authentic. Yes, authenticity. If you're a spiritual leader, share both your struggles and victories with those in your growth environment. Your transparency will encourage them to stop hiding their own struggles and stop faking a picture that has little or nothing to do with their real life. If you're authentic, those around you will feel safe and will be able to follow your model. Another indispensable catalyst of spiritual growth is accountability. Accountability. Sometimes some very real conversations have to happen because it is through healthy dialogue that we establish or re-establish the right course of action. Yes, we all need authentic people to hold us accountable in order to mature. We need one another's help to stand up when we fall or fail. In a relational growth environment, we learn how to bear one another's burdens when we feel overwhelmed. We learn to shepherd one another. We learn to care for one another. And that's exactly how we grow. God bless.